This is the unboxing video for the XVICO X3, XVICO X3 3D printer. You can see right there. Ooh, so exciting. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up. See how exciting it is. All right. The sticker does not say much on the side. Okay. It says, Upgrade 3D Printer IY with Resume Print. New! Made in China. And then the FBA stuff. Oh, we got an instruction manual. X3 Installation Manual. Printer Frame Installation. A Product Module Graphics Analysis. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be so fun. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Let's get it out. See what we're working with here. Plate, which comes with a glass surface. Mm, not too shabby. I prefer printing everything on glass. That is one empty box. Please ensure the packaging is complete before receiving the goods. How can I, without opening the box, and know everything's there to receive it? After unpacking, please check whether the part, list, and accessories are consistent. Well, you know, consistent's good, I guess. If you find any problems, please feel free to contact us. The installation instructions on this graphic are schematic diagrams of the model for reference only. The actual goods are subject to the receipt of the goods. This is like Beetlejuice. It, just, it, it needs like stereo instructions. And so in order to assemble our 3D printer more perfectly, please combine the assembly instruction video provided by our company. We will upload videos or information from time to time. Please keep an eye on the latest developments of the official website. I mean, I definitely read way worse English. That's at least kind of makes sense. There's not even like a part breakdown. Like nothing even says, you know, you should have this many of this and this many of that. No, there's not. Number three, product installation setup. Install Z-axis profile rings. All right, so uh, this has a threaded rod, so I have to move this. Thing. Place the chassis module on the horizontal table and fit the two Z-axis profile wires to the chassis module with screw M520. I wasn't like totally a metric dude. Okay, well there is a small sticker here that does say M520. It's got clean heat shrink connections, doesn't feel like shitty copper. It's... I can check all the connections over for you. Okay.
Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where you want to kind of keep your screws loose. So you have them both threaded and going cleanly and then tighten them down. Kind of like you tighten down a motherboard. And just evenly do it on a pattern. That's good. Nice and tight. It's going anywhere. We'll check our other two. Good. Especially with this, I mean, you get wobble here, your print's in down for You're gonna be on like the Facebook groups and the forums and you're gonna be like, man, why is my bomber machine not working? Hold the Z motor assembly against the Z axis aluminum profile and lock it on the Z axis aluminum profile with the two screws and two nuts on the Z motor assembly as shown below. So yeah, it does have the, I'm not sure these are called actually. They go into the actual groove of the aluminum channel and then you turn it and tighten it. I'm gonna call them insert turn tighteners. If you ever change out a, uh, I don't know why any of you guys would, but if you ever change out a window regulator in a DeLorean, and then the shit just falls down in the door well and it's this razor blade stainless steel world you come out with like bloody arms just your legs at least my delorean's got a window okay b install the x-axis right mounting assembly Fit the X-axis right mounting assembly on the aluminum pole X. Motor 368 with the two hexagonal flat head screws. M416. So I mean, I'll bet you a million bucks this ends up going up here. What? You're wrong, dang, you're wrong. It's gonna be this one. When you get to that. But there's no distinguishing these two besides the whole pattern. Since this has one, two, three, four, and this has one, two, three, four, it would logically tell you that one. Right, so it's telling me this piece. down. Really want to make sure we get this as level as possible or we'll be fighting forever. So yeah, you go down right through that hole. Right there. this module on the wrong side.
Stir with it a little taunt. My CR10, no, 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 my uh, Ender 3 had a really good fun. But also made it then, my, my guy helping put it together. Insert four pulleys along the groove of the Y motor aluminum profile and pass the belt through the Y channel belt bearing. Fixing, okay, belt bearing fixing member while penetrating into the center of the hole of the Y motor aluminum profile. The Y axis belt fixing assembly, four screws, and T nut are loaded along the groove. <clears throat> I get I get generally what it's asking me to do here. We'll actually go into the whole teeth facing up. For the whole one person that ever watches this video. Come on, penetrate! Haha, you penetrated! I shall pull on you! Pull it on you! Ooh, pull on you! Okay. Take this glass out. This is freaking me out being there. Tell me I can take this build plate off. But it's not saying, like, how one does it. It's got some interesting tensioners here, though. I'm just going to loosen these tensioners all the way. Try not to lose the springs. So, just for transparency, uh, they, I totally spaced. They, they sent me this. They contacted me through Facebook and Instagram, and they're like, hey, would you review this printer? And I'm like, oh, never reviewed a printer before. It's the smallest little thumb tighteners. First thing is going to be printing off new ones of these. Install the displays. <laughs> <laughs> 